Hi guys, hope you guys are all well and safe. This is just a quick video. I can try and keep it as short as possible. Again, on the the last video that I did, just a bit of response and feedback and um, what clients have clients have been talking with me about and what I've been sharing with them. And just wanted to um, get it out there really and explain uh, what I've been saying to them on a, on a bit of a more detailed level with with everyone who is looking to invest in the next you know next 12 months um the biggest key thing is is that there will be a recession in my opinion and um in a recession obviously there are good deals that are going to go on prices are inevitably going to drop they're not going to stay at what they are right now or as of last month to be more precise um but the thing the key point is is that the government have put this uh six months uh freeze on evictions at the moment this can last up to 12 months, it can go, go up to even 18 months if the government want to, depending on how bad this gets. And I, I envision it will be uh, bad and it won't be six months, it will probably be longer, 12 to 18 months in my opinion, maybe even longer. So when buying a property, you might get a great deal and you might get 20, 30 grand off that property, but you have to take in consideration the structure of the deal. And what I mean by that, what, what I mean exactly by that is, is, is it tenanted? Or is it vacant possession? Because if it's tenanted and you buy that property at a good rate and you get a good discount and you're looking to do the property into a HMO and, you know, generate more rent from that property, a lot more, um, sometimes sometimes triple, but generally double at least at, at the bare minimum, um, you'll be stuck with a tenant. And if you don't know that tenant and that tenant wants to dig their heels in and say, you know, we're not moving, and you can do what you like, you're stuck with an investment that you thought would be X, but isn't. And you may have paid 20, 30 grand uh, less, but you're actually harming yourself in the long run because this six months ban is just a temporary measure to be reviewed again. And that could go on for another six to 12 months. So potentially you might be 18 months uh, down off an investment on a HMO where you could have bought a property which is vacant possession, done the work within two, three months and put it on rent and paid a decent or average price and um, you're receiving twice as much if not triple the rent on your HMO investment rather than thinking, oh brilliant, I've just saved myself 20 grand by getting the, getting the property cheaper because uh, of this recession. That's not always the most attractive part of the deal that you think it is at that moment in time when you are putting that offer in. So please bear that in mind that when you are bidding, please make sure you aim to get a property which is vacant possession in this times. It's probably a must in my opinion. However, there are cases where you can meet the tenant and if you think the tenant is a reasonable, you know, family or, you know, the, the you know, you could work around them and you can tell them your plans and they're happy to, you know, work alongside you. Or if you need them out at a certain time, you can agree something in writing with them. But again, I don't know how far that could go because you will have to evict them lawfully. And at this moment in time, you can't do that. So it's a very blurry area, but I would say um, definitely negotiate a good rate at the beginning. But try and negotiate on a vacant possession property um, because that's something which will definitely hurt you in the long run of your investment. Um, on to a couple other things with the developers, people who have bought first time buyers who have bought, um, the government have introduced um, something after five years of interest free, which is the help to buy scheme that you are potentially entitled to um, interest free periods going forward. So if someone has bought something five years ago on the help to buy scheme, they will have to pay a portion of interest at the usual rate but that can be now uh freezed for you guys so that's a that's, that's a great thing the people who are buying who have put deposits down on developments and their new developers um that have gone up that are going up at the moment those contractors that are employed by the developer they're usually self-employed so they're going to work until they can work until the government physically shuts the comp shuts, shuts, shuts the uk down so when they're unable to work, your build is going to be delayed um, and your flat enable, in the end is going to be delayed as well. So you need to have and set yourself the expectation of when you are looking to move 
to be pushed back significantly. So um, if you have bought a new build in the last six months or, or even 12 months, expect a delay.